As a farmer, we've been aware for a while that, that soils is our next frontier in productivity. Uh, and at the moment, there's a, a big gap in knowledge and there's also a, a gap in um, knowledge that does exist is just not getting out to farmers. It's very hard to find. Soils are important to absolutely everyone. Soils give us food, fibre, clean air, clean water. Healthy soils are the key to agriculture in Australia. Soil drives everything in our production system. We are all about growing maximum grass and maximum crop yield. But that only happens if the substrate that it's growing in is healthy, functioning, and we understand how we interact with it. So the Soil CRC is a collaborative research centre that brings together farmers, industry and scientists to work together to investigate how to improve the performance and management of soils in Australia. We've got 39 partners in the Soil CRC from right across Australia and one partner from New Zealand. We have eight universities, three state agencies and 20 farmer groups, which is a really important feature of this CRC. Collaboration is the key to successful research and the exciting thing about this CRC is we've got collaboration with other research organisations, innovators and practitioners. So this CRC will see us take our research from the field, the lab and back to the farmer with that nice flow of information. I've always tried to uh, remain really connected to um, the CRCs, to the land care, to the research bodies, to the universities. The benefit we get out of that is that I get to have the best brains on my farm talking to me. Linking different farmer groups and different production systems is one of those, I find, one of the most stimulating things in agriculture because everyone approaches things slightly differently and while you can't always adopt exactly what another production system uses, it makes you think about how you approach the same question in your own system. So the CRC is funded by the Australian Government, we have $40 million in cash for the next 10 years and that's more than matched by close to $120 million of cash and in-kind contributions from the feed partners. That amount of funding from both the Government and from the partners gives us a great opportunity to, to achieve a lot in this area. What the 10 year funding does ensure is that we've got a focus on soil research in agriculture for 10 years and that's not something that we get every day. So having that commitment and that vision and the partnership between all the collaborators will make for a successful CRC hopefully. It enables the, the funding cycle to, to cover the time it takes to do some research and also the time it takes to get that extension out and any other questions that invariably come out of the research are able to be answered and extended back out to the farmer, which is where it needs to be. Soils are the engine room of any grazing and cropping business. They, it is the lifeblood of what we grow. Um, there are enormous variety of um, different production systems and approaches to agriculture, but if there is a solid bank of science that can provide information to whoever wants to use it and they can make their decisions based on fact rather than um, assumptions. It's a really exciting time to be involved in agriculture in Australia right now. There's all sorts of opportunities opening up, export markets in Asia, increasing use of uh, technology is opening up new frontiers for farmers. There's also challenges from climate change, from rising input costs, but it all starts with the soil and working through this CRC, if we can help farmers to manage their soils for increased productivity and profitability, then in 10 years time, Australian agriculture will be in a lot better place.